Hey guys, my name is Khaled and welcome to the review of the Technet laptop cooling stand. So before we go into the review, let's quickly talk about why you would need something like this. So since the pandemic, a lot of people have been working from home. They've been using the laptops on desk as normal people do, but a lot of people may not have rooms such as myself. So you might have to resort to a dining table, use it on your lap or sometimes even on the bed, depending on how many people are working at home from the same time. So that's not very good for your laptop. It can overheat, cause issue with the fans and for it to decay over time. So this can be a good piece of kit to invest in. Basically, it's a cooling pad where you put your laptop on and it aids with the heat dissipation of the laptop. We have a USB type A cable. This will power your cooling pad and it plugs straight into your laptop. We also have a warranty card, gives you information on the basic warranty, returns policy, etc. If you do register online, then you do get extended to two years warranty. We also have the welcome guide, which includes information such as package contents, the life expectancy, so it's rated at 10,000 hours. We've got airflow. We have material which is made from metal mesh and ABS plastic, noise level less than 20 decibels. And we also have three USB powered fans that are measured at 120 millimeters in diameter. Looking at the cooling stand for the first time, I really do like the look of it. The black and blue cooling stand. We've got the baby blue for Technet logo and it's very lightweight and extremely slim profile as well. So as well as working from home, you can put it in your bag and travel with it anywhere you want. We have the metal mesh design. So this helps with keeping the tray cooler for longer. On each of the sides, we have ventilation as well to exhaust all the heat out. So if your laptop does get pretty warm and it's on this cooling pad, it will aid with helping the hot air flow out properly because on some laptops, you'll only exhaust heat from one side, but you get three sides with this. On the back, we have the on and off power switch. We have the USB to power the cooling pad from your laptop and we have a throughput as well but it will be limited in terms of USB speed. Another great feature with this cooling pad is a kickstand. So if you're typing and feel more comfortable you can have it at a raised position. If you're for example having a webinar or having a Teams meeting you can leave it flat. It's just up to personal preference and that's a good feature to have it in there. And also guys I know this isn't really a scientific test but I thought I'd run Geekbench 5 so one without the cooling pad I was getting maximum temperature of around 50 degrees and with the cooling pad I was getting around 44 43 so if your CPU is running at a high temperature for example in the 75 degree mark and I can actually attest to it because my manager's computer was running really hot I think one of his fans was going and he was hitting around 90 degrees but we didn't have any downtime because we had a lot of system work to do and he needed a temperature measure so this was delivered and then we got it working and he went from around um, 85 90 degrees to the 60 degree mark so a significant change and before I go any further I just want you to listen to the fan noise because it is whisper quiet and when you have your laptop on you can hardly hear it So because the top layer is metal mesh, make sure you do line that up with the rubber grommet at the bottom. If you don't, as demonstrated, you can see it slide and you can cause damage to your laptop. But as long as you position it properly, it stays firm in its place and doesn't move at all. Okay guys, that was a quick look at the Technet cooling pad. If I have missed out anything, then please hit me up in the comment section below. If you like the video, do hit the like button. If you want more content like this and enjoy me as a person, then please hit that subscribe button. And as always, stay safe in these rough times. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.